governor sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. Acts 9, 40. Dear God, as we read about how you used Peter in today's story, help us to remember that you want to use us too to bring about your perfect plans. We want to say today with Peter, I'll go wherever you say to go and do whatever you say to do. Thank you for your power that lives in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with us today. The Kids Bible in a Year podcast is sponsored by Little Passports, delivering monthly activity kit subscriptions that help kids explore the world, cultivate curiosity, and discover new interests with hands-on crafts and activities in cooking, science, crafts, and more, all with a unique cultural twist. Visit littlepassports.com blessed to learn more and save 20% with code blessed. Healing of Dorcas. In our last story, Saul was converted on the road to Damascus and became a powerful witness to Jesus. In this story, Peter will heal Aeneas and raise Tabitha, also known as Dorcas, from the dead, as inspired by Acts. Hi everyone, it's Julianne Thompson, guest hosting for Julia Jeffress Sadler, here to welcome you back to the Kids Bible in a Year podcast. Peter is on the move in today's story, and God is going to show up big time through him. We're going to hear about two people who needed a miracle and got one. So listen up. Peter traveled from place to place, preaching the gospel of Christ and encouraging fellow believers. At one place, he found a paralyzed man who had been lying on his bed for eight years. Peter said to him, The Lord Jesus has healed you, so get up. Immediately the man was healed and got up. People in that area saw the man and heard what happened, and many of them put their faith in Christ. There was a woman named Dorcas who lived nearby in the town of Joppa. As a disciple of Jesus, she loved people and did good works for them. She became sick and died. Her friends prepared her body for burial and placed it in an upstairs room. The disciples in Joppa heard that Peter was in the area, so they sent two men to him. They said, Please, come with us right away. Peter agreed and went with them. When he arrived in Joppa, they took him to the house where they had laid the body of Dorcas. He went upstairs and found women weeping for her. When they saw him, They showed him the various robes and clothes that Dorcas had made while she was alive. Peter sent them out of the room and knelt down and prayed. Turning to the body, he said, Dorcas, get up. With that, she opened her eyes and saw Peter. So she sat up. He helped her up from the bed and then called for the other women. He presented Dorcas to them, alive. The news of this spread throughout Joppa, and many put their faith in Jesus. Jesus' earthly body has left earth, but his power and love are still alive and well through the Holy Spirit. The two miracles in today's story are pretty special because they remind us that when we walk with Jesus, His power is alive in us. His spirit can move through us and he can accomplish his plan in us. As the story begins, we hear Peter traveling around the area, preaching the gospel and encouraging the believers in Jesus. Now let's stop here for a moment and think about this. Do you remember what Jesus told his disciples before he went up into heaven? Do you remember his final words before they watched him disappear into the clouds? We find it in Acts 1.8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You will be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. 
Peter was moving all about Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, sharing the good news and encouraging followers of Christ. He was right where Jesus told him to be, doing just what Jesus told him to do. You see, sometimes it's a lot easier for us to stay in our comfortable house and around our friends and family where things feel safe and familiar. But could it be that Jesus is calling us, like Peter, to get out and look for others who need Jesus? Peter was on the move and on a mission, and Jesus is calling us to do the same. Think about this. Since Peter was on the move and exactly where God told him to be, these two people, desperate for a miracle, crossed his path. They encountered Jesus and their lives were changed simply because of Peter's obedience and willingness to go and share the gospel. And not only that, the Bible tells us that after Jesus healed the paralyzed man named Ananias, all the people who lived in this town and saw this happen turned to the Lord. Jesus was multiplying his church and using Peter to do it. Then there was Dorcas, who sometimes went by Tabitha. She was a woman full of good works and charitable deeds. She clearly had a reputation of doing what was right and helping those in need. Well, she got sick and died. But she had friends who cared deeply for her and were desperate to get to Peter when they found out he was in the area. They showed Peter all she had done for the believers in Joppa. And as he prayed, just as he had seen Jesus do, he spoke her name and told her to get up. And she did. Once again, the Bible says that this incredible news spread and fast, and many more believed in the Lord. That's all for today. Let's remember to go out today, just as Peter did, and find someone in need. Perhaps Jesus is putting someone in your path this very day. Watch for them. And when you find them, you'll know that the God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, is using you to build his kingdom and accomplish his plans. Well, next time you'll want to be here because we are getting the best news ever. Jesus is opening up his love and grace to not just his chosen people, the Jews, but to all of us. He is making us clean and inviting us to be in his forever family. And there's one more reason why. The Bible is the best story ever told. It's God's story to you. And it's all true. Felt inspired by today's episode? Leave a review so we can bring our uplifting messages to even more families. Thanks for listening to Pray.com Kids Bible in a Year. For more inspiring stories and wisdom to last a lifetime, download the Pray.com app free today. Thanks for listening to Kids Bible in a Year. I want to invite our adult listeners to check out my other show, Unapologetic, God's Truth on Today's Topics. It's unfiltered, important, inspiring, and we have awesome conversations and amazing guests such as Candace Cameron Bray, Vice President Mike Pence, Dr. Robert Jeffress, Shannon Bream, Maddie Pruitt, and so many others. We are helping you have conversations that empower you to have bold faith in a broken world. You'll be excited, inspired, and encouraged in your faith as you check out Unapologetic. Remember that you can tune in wherever you get your podcasts and on Pray.com.